Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. This week I have a simple little tutorial for you. It's about how to disable the little tooltip that appears when you hover over an image in Divi. Um, this may be something you never even notice, but when you're viewing the front end of a website, it can actually be pretty annoying to see this. So I'm gonna show you it and then give you a code snippet to disable this. So I'm not even sure which all the modules show this, but I know the image module does. You can see it there when I hover over there. You can see it's giving this like the actual title of the image. And I know the gallery. So the image module and the gallery module definitely do it. Looks like the blurb is not doing it. Um, but that's coming, the title that you see there, I'll show you where it's coming from. Uh, if I go uh, media library and just like grab this image, see here, excavator working, blah, blah, blah. It's the title. So it's coming from WordPress. It's coming from these image attributes here. Um, and like I said, it's just showing up in that tooltip. It's, it's not doing anything. That's kind of the, the point here. Like it, it doesn't do anything. Um, as far as, you know, the research, all I could do is that it's not related to, you know, alt text. I mean, it's the title text. It's not alt text. So it's not, um, screen re related or accessibility related, and it's not SEO related. So there's really not a good reason to keep it. Now this tutorial is quite simple. It, it really is simple. There's one step and that is this code snippet right here. You can just come over here and click copy, copy to clipboard. Um, and again, this, this is very simple to add in Divi because anywhere that you, um, well, any, every Divi website has theme options and an integration tab where you could put the code. In fact, here, let's look at what other options do I say? Oh yeah, that's number three. You can put it in the integration tab. You can put it in a child theme, like maybe a child theme. Um, if you have other scripts, like other jQuery and JavaScript, maybe you have a scripts.js file. Um, and if you have Divi Assistant, well, then we have the jQuery code tab. Um, right in the visual builder. So it's up to you where you want to put that. Um, I'll just go ahead and use Divi Assistant since I have it enabled. So here I already have in Divi Assistant code helper, um, you know, all these tabs are enabled. So show CSS, jQuery, PHP, and then I have the code activated and saved. So then basically um, when I'm in the builder, it will show up. So I can come down here to this little icon and it's jQuery. So I can click on the jQuery tab and then paste, okay? And it's, it's surrounded by script tags. Um, so you can see it starts with script and ends with a closing script. So I can save that. And you can exit the builder to see the result. All right, and so when I hover over the image, there's no tooltip even in the gallery in the image module. Now, that was really simple, wasn't it? Um, and yeah, you could put that code in like these other places, like I mentioned, but um, yeah, you can figure that out based on those instructions. But another thing I wanted to mention, so we do have this in Divi Assistant. Now I realize the code method is simple, but you know, if you're using Divi Assistant, if you're a member of our Divi Adventure Club, well then, probably just use this, it would be easier. Um, literally turn on the setting and that setting is located back here. Oh, by the way, if you're ever in here, integration tab, um, the theme options, this code, does it look familiar? It's literally the code that we put in, um, in the visual builder. So it's like synchronized and that would be the same, um, by the way, for like CSS. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, Divi Assistant. The setting for this is in the media helper. So media helper image attributes right here. You can just turn that on. Um, there you go. It's, it's literally that simple. So if I, you know, well, take my word for it. I was going to say I could remove the code and show you, but it's the exact same thing. So, um, yeah, it's that simple to turn it off site wide. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that little tip. Um, something easy you can do on any of your sites. So whether you're using uh, the code method or the plugin method, um, they're both pretty easy in this case. Um, sometimes I do tutorials where it's more complicated code or PHP and stuff. And yeah, you don't really want to mess with that too much.
But, you know, if you're using Divi Assistant, like I said, um, then it kind of makes sense to keep like your, your um, template so you can import and export those settings on new sites. All right, well, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know, and we'll see you all in the next video.